Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video inside of your application using Swift 2 with Xcode 7. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead, open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project. This will be a single view application, although this does work universally with other things. This will be a single view application, as I said. Product name, I'm just gonna call this my video application. So video app, and then language will be set to Swift and devices will be set to universal. Click next and create. Now let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger. And right inside of our main.storyboard, I'm just gonna go ahead and click and drag a UI web view onto my scene like so. And I'm not gonna mess around with constraints as that's going to be your own application, how you wanna set up your constraints. But here I have my web view, I'm just gonna click and drag it to the size of about a width of 295 and a height of 170, it really doesn't matter. But either way, we have this web view, and then let's go ahead, open up our assistant editor. And now we have this web view, so right click, control, click and drag from the web view over to our view controller. Our connection type will be an outlet. The name of this, I'm just going to call this my video view. Connect that. And I want it to upload a YouTube URL. So I'm going to say if let YouTube URL. And we're gonna make this equal to a string. So just say quotes. And inside of this, let's go ahead and go over to youtube.com. Head over to a video that we like. And now that I have a video that I like, I'm just gonna go right down here to the share button. And you're presented with share, embed, and email. So I'm gonna go to embed right here, and we have this HTML source code right here. So this we will use in just a second, but what you mainly want is this little part right here that says HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash embed, and then we have our object ID. So now we're just going to take all of that, copy, and we're going to paste that right inside of our YouTube URL. So now we can go down here and we're just going to say video view dot load HTML string. And we're going to make it load that HTML string that we saw earlier in the embed. So we're just gonna say command C and paste that right into our string. And now, and now one thing you will notice is all these quotation marks around here are messing things up. So if you want to eliminate quotation marks, all you need to do is do a slash before every quotation mark that you that you just want it to be counted as text. The slash will not be inside of the text itself when it is represented to the data. So it's just going to read this off as if you're, there are quotation marks. So it's essentially just going to read this off as if these quotation marks are inside of the text itself. And then now you should have a completely black thing, but we need to go before all the iframes and just add a quotation mark, like so, and then also after the iframe. Base URL, we're gonna set this equal to nil. I'm just gonna go ahead, up, close my assistant editor, head it over to my view controller Swift so you guys can get a better view at this. But we have iframe and essentially I just put slashes in front of all these quotation marks that I just wanted to be counted as text. And there you have it. Now, where does this YouTube URL come in? So let's go ahead and you will see that this source is equal to this. So let's just go ahead and delete that whole embed right there. And let's just go ahead and say slash open close parentheses. And inside of this, you're just going to type in YouTube URL. And uh, there is our YouTube video. So we will set this up a little bit better in our scene in just a second, but either way we have this and we can click play and that'll play our video. But one thing you'll notice is that as it's playing this video, it just goes into this full screen mode. Now, if you want this video to be played in line, all you need to do is let's go ahead, go back over to our code. And right after this URL that we have right here, we need to say question mark ampersand, and we're gonna say plays in line. And then we're gonna set this equal to one. Essentially, we're talking binary here, zero equals false, one equals true. So it plays in line and then we'll set that equal to true. And sorry, this should be a question mark, not a slash. So question mark ampersand plays in line equals one. And also with that HTML code, we also need to say video view dot allows, allows inline media playback and we'll set that equal to true. And now let's go ahead, build and run this. And now let's go ahead, play our video. And now you can see that our video is playing inside of this little web view that we have right here. And of course there are controls down here. So if you wanna make it bigger, you can. But another thing you'll notice is that this thing is too big for the web view that it's hosted inside. So let's head back over to our project. And the, and the problem lies right in here where it says iframe width equals 560 and a height equals 315. So if you wanna change this, you can actually just go right in here and say slash, open close parentheses. And inside of this, we're just going to say vi video view dot frame dot width. Our height is a little hiss and hit and miss. I don't understand why, but you can go slash open close parentheses and we're gonna say video view 
dot frame dot height. And now if we were to build and run this, that should fix our problem, although our height is sometimes doesn't work. So there you have it, there is our video v loaded up into our little web view, and it looks like the height did work this time, so now let's go ahead and play this video inside of our web view that we have. And it's playing in line like we wanted it to. Now I kind of wish there was a better way to embed videos inside of an application. Of course there is a way, but it requires JSON, so this is a little bit the simplest way that you can do it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, I will see you on the next one.